So I'm speeding. Scene one, take one, and action. What's good, everybody? My name is Slate, and I'm a filmmaker, and let's roll the intro. <laughs> So upon posting this video, there is one most questioned by youngsters in South Africa uh, is that um, is filmmaking worth studying? And I don't have a yes or a no about this question. I'm just going to share my story. And at the end of the video, you can make a more informed decision on whether should I go or should I not. A brief history about me. I have an honors in film and television. I got that from the University of Johannesburg here in South Africa. Shout out to my lecturers if they're watching this. And right now I've got six years in the film industry. And before I started um, with my filmmaking career, I was actually an actor. So before all this, the filmmaking, I was an actor. And then I started acting on one of the shows here in South Africa and then loved film, got passionate and then decided to get my honors. So I'm going to start with the section of uh, is filmmaking worth studying? I'm going to start with a yes, because would I change anything if I had the choice? Would I choose to not have went to film school? No, I would still have gone to film school. The reason why I say yes, just one of the reasons is that um, it gets you a seat in the table. What I mean by that is that you will get opportunities. You are in a better place to get opportunities. I know when I was studying on my third year, lecturers would you know, give us practicals at other big productions and um, you could go work there on a big production as a runner or whatever you are doing, but you would get an opportunity to work with big productions that you wouldn't get. I mean, if you are from me and you come from Venda, um, when you don't even know anyone in Johannesburg who is studying film, you don't have connections. But when you go to film school, they would, you know, help you get those connections and that's a big plus. Right now, another big plus why you should consider studying film is that um, it gives you the opportunity to learn. So part of the no, the no side of this video would be that everything you want about film is on YouTube. I kid you not, everything I studied in film school is on YouTube. But um, now when you go to film school, you have all that information designed and packaged for you in a good way that's easy to follow. And another thing that university does good with is that they go deep into theory. So now you will get the chance to learn the theory, the theory behind films, you know. And if you are going on to be a director, that will really come in handy because you will start with a script from the beginning when they are writing it up until it goes to be shot. And when you understand the basics behind film, you can be a better director because you now know the theory and the psychology behind it. You know, uh, if I want to make people feel a certain way, let me put my camera here. You know, if you want to tell a story, where do you even start? You know, that is some of the things you'll learn from film school. You'll obviously get, you know, accredited to say, you know, this is, this is it, you know. I know I didn't say a lot of yeses, but let me say the no's and I'll just, you know, I'll be jumping back to the yeses and the no's. So one of the big no, I think I've said it, is that the information is already available on YouTube. So it's not a train smash if you don't go to film school because the information is already there. And the other big no is filmmaking is expensive. I know on my undergrad tuition, I was paying somewhere around 35,000 rands. Plus accommodation was around 50,000 rand, which was just under 100,000 rand, just under 100,000 rand. You times that with four years, I've spent more than 350,000 on film school, which is quite expensive considering that the information is available on YouTube. And part of the worst experience from my journey was after spending a lot of money, when you come out, you don't even have equipment, you know. I didn't even have a single camera to shoot anything, so that was quite bad, you know. The industry as a whole, the film industry is not like any other 
industries for example let's look at medicine if right now you're a doctor and you pass there's a hospital out there which is waiting to take you in and train you film industry it's not like that it's not like when you pass and have your degree Netflix is waiting for you to come along, you know, it's not like big productions are waiting to give you an opportunity, you know, but whereas in other sectors, you have companies that are, you know, going to give you the opportunity to learn. So that's quite bad. I know when I passed, I was one of the top students in my, in my university and the offer I was getting was like 2,500 rands as an editor. Just to put that in perspective, when you are staying in a place like Joburg, because it was in Joburg, rent, you are talking about 3,500. So already there was no way I could afford to live with that kind of money, you know. So with all this said, um, I would just still go to film school because um, if you go to film school and you add, you know, whatever you're getting from film school with YouTube knowledge, um, you would be quite far, you know. So, yeah. Um, is filmmaking worth studying? I still say yes, but um, I think I've said a mouthful. Um, feel free to comment on the comment section and, you know, um, comment anything. Did I leave anything out? And, yeah, and feel free to like and subscribe and see you on another one. Thank you. I'm out. Cut.